for watching. Um, I am Radana, and this is Talon. He is my son, and I am a stylist of 22 years. I actually have um, a YouTube channel. It is Boys and Girls Hairstyles, and you can find that at boysandgirlshairstyles.com. And anyway, I just love helping people with their hair, and it's a passion of mine. And so I wanted to give you guys some tips um, on cutting hair at home. Everybody's been, been quarantined, uh, been inside, you know, salons closed, things like that. Um, Talon lives with me, so he does get his hair cut. And so I thought it would be fun to show you guys what, how I cut Talon's hair. Um, I just have my comb, I have my squirt bottle, that's all I need, squirt bottle. Um, sorry Talon, it's <laughs> kinda cold. So I'm gonna start with the base, the bottom down here, okay? Um, you obviously are going to take as much off as you want. Um, I'm just gonna hold this down. I like to point cut into my cuts, okay? That means it's not a straight, straight line. Okay, you can see that I'm just kind of point cutting into that. Now, obviously, if you want it shorter, you're gonna go shorter. All right, just point cut into that. I start in the middle, I go to the side, and then come back to the middle, and then go to the other side. And if you want, you can hold your finger out, set your shears here. Um, let's, let's do talk about shears. Now, if you just grab a kitchen pair of scissors, doubt that's gonna cut the hair, okay? We're gonna be bending the hair. So, if you can, um, I'm sure you can find a sharper pair at Walgreens or something like that, um, or like at a Sally's, like you could call in, get Cricut. Cricut's a good pair, but it's not expensive. So anyway, that will last you. Um, now see, I'm just, I'm just taking a little bit off. Okay, now I'm holding, you can see I'm taking a little section down this way. And then I just take this and I comb it out of the way, okay? So I hold this straight out. And you can see where you've cut here and that's what you connect to. It's called your guide point. Okay, same thing here. If you guys can see, just come from this guide point down to the bottom. Um, now, Talon, he's my kid that loved to cut his own hair <laughs> um, over and over. Like, I, I have two girls, I actually have five kids, but my two girls <clears throat> didn't cut their hair. But Talon, he loved it. He cut it over and over. Okay, so again, you come to the top and you follow down. Now, this hair over here has been cut, so you can follow that. See, there it is. So you just follow that guide point. Okay, you just come down again, just take another new section. If you guys feel like you need to totally section the hair out, you are totally fine to do that. Um, this just saves a little time, just keeping track you know, with your eye. But hey, we have all the time in the world, right? We're in our homes. <laughs> All right, now same thing, you just come down down the back. Um, it's a 90 degree angle, which is straight out from the head. So yeah, it's really easy. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is when, when you guys go to cut, you're gonna be wondering like, okay, now I have the hair here, but I have a comb and the shears, like how do I do that? I just take my thumb, stick it here, hold it with your thumb, okay? And then you can just cut. Okay, then grab your comb, hair out of the way. See, there it is again. You just stick that right there. And there you go. Now we come up to the side, the top and side. Same thing. Okay, now we just come down this side here. Yeah, so Talon, growing up, he's pretty much had all sorts of haircuts. Um, he's had the mullet, right, Tal? He's had a really long mullet. 
um, short, short sides, and he's had a perm, he's had short hair, he's had pink and turquoise hair, remember? Sure. I think he was like 12 doing baseball, and we did half of his hair pink and half turquoise. Yeah, dad didn't love it. But I'm like, hey, it's color, it's fun, it's hair. Gotta enjoy it, especially if you're a kid of a, of a hairstylist. And crazy mom. Oh, and crazy mom. There you go. See, that's good to tell. Thanks for telling everybody my secret. I am crazy. No, um, so the side, I love that. So the side, you can see where I've cut. Now I'm just going to come down to this bottom because that's the length. So you just take that. I love that. That's funny. Oh. Okay, then I'm going to hold this by the ear. And I'm going to take some, but I'm also going to take it on an angle because he likes the sides to the back here a little bit longer. So you can see how it's angled a little bit this way. And then there's the length at the bottom. Okay, so you can see it kind of comes down from the ear. There. Now I'm going to come back on the top and you just find that guide point that you had already cut. Same thing, come down this side the same way you did the other side. And for a minute, you might be a little bit um, wigged out with trying to hold the comb and the, the scissors and everything at once. You'll totally get it. You just keep, keep doing it. Um, the other thing I recommend, you know, get on YouTube, find, find tutorials, you know, find somebody you love to watch um, that you can understand, that you can cut like, um, it's really, that's really gonna help you. So I would definitely find tutorials. Um, obviously this is finger cutting. Um, if you want a buzzer cut, like a clipper cut, something like that, you're obviously gonna type that in, you know, um, to find the right tutorials. And you never know, if you watch the other tutorials, you might find haircut that you like. I mean, like I said, Callum, <laughs> we've done a few of, a uh, little bit of everything to him. So, you never know. You can change it up. Hair changes, huh, Cal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's fun about it? And I just thought it would be fun to jump on. Again, you know, I'm going to hold it out here by the ear, like the other side. And then you just take it on the ankle and connect it to the bottom. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna spray down the top a little bit, and then we'll start this top. Now, see that guide point? That's where I cut. Now you're just gonna cut straight forward here, point cut, um, I love point cutting. Uh, the reason why it gives it a little movement, a little more movement, it's not blunt cut. It's not, you know, if you have your hair laying, especially if it's shorter, um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but there are some haircuts that can have lines. You know, you can see the lines and sometimes that's from cutting like this, like right against the fingers. So that's why I love to point cut. It just, it makes it a little bit more movable. Okay, so I've gone down this side. Now I'm gonna to come to, to um, just up above the ear. I'm gonna take a little bit off of this. He likes it kind of over his ear. <clears throat> now, if you're going for more of like a mullet, you obviously wanna go tight here. So that just means take more length off on the sides. But you can see this is that top that I cut. So I'm gonna take and take that corner off, okay? Then, that one's so awesome. I just, I was at the last minute, I'm like, I wanna do a video for these guys. I, you know what, there's so many people at home that, and I always am posting, you know, hey, don't cut your own hair, don't do it. But I'm like, hey, no, actually, everybody wants to cut their hair because they're, it's driving them nuts. So I'm like, oh, let's just hurry and do a video for them. And so I hope this helps you guys. Like I said, if not, 
find some on YouTube, you know, look things up um, and see if you can, can find what you are looking for. It definitely will help. So yeah, he was a trooper. He's like, yeah, sure, mom. I'm like, when he used to be in high school. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna go right here. I'm just showing you. I'm just gonna hold this down a little bit. Take a little bit off of this and connect it with the side. Okay, I'm gonna do the front here in a minute. Now I'm gonna come to this side. So I'm gonna come forward like I did on the other side. Just follow that guide point from right here. Anyway, high school, you guys, this, he loves to cook. So he literally would come in, he would just come home, um, make lunch. I'd be out here in the salon and he would just bring me in lunch, like, and good lunch. Like he makes awesome stuff. I'm like pretty sad when the boy cut, or boy cuts, boy cooks better than his own mom. But it's nice for me. Okay, so I'm just taking from that guide point, just taking that corner off. Okay, and then same on the other side, I took from the ear, just hold it out. And then of course, once I cut both sides, I'm gonna hold, you know, both sides out, make sure they're even. We always do that, huh, Tal? Tal's like, oh, I think that's a little long. Mm -hmm. So then I'll double check. I don't know. Then we'll fix it. No, it's long. No, it's short. I'll even do this and he can fill it. He's like, no, nope, on that left side's a little long. <laughs> He's got it down, don't you? Mm -hmm. He probably actually could cut somebody's hair, uh, you know, how many times we've, we've done it. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Okay. All right, so now this part. Now remember, if you hold it down tight and you cut, it's gonna come up, okay? So you wanna do it kind of loose. Just loosen that up. Take a little bit off of the bang area. Now Talon, he has a calic on this side. You can see he has a calic. So I always leave this side a tiny bit longer because it always comes up. So once it dries, if I don't, this side is shorter. So if you guys have calyx, just know that it, you wanna leave it a little bit longer where the calyx is. All right, I'm just gonna turn to the mirror. Is that about right for your, Yeah. That's is that good? good? Mm -hmm. Okay, now if you have really thick hair and you have thinning shears, you're more than welcome to come in. We always kind of do as sides just so they don't get too bulky. Um, now I come out, it's about, you're not gonna go on the hairline. You're gonna come out about half of an inch to an inch, okay? And I'm just gonna come through here a little bit because he obviously likes it long, but we don't want it too bushy to where it looks, you know, matted and stuff like that, so. Okay, now, just gonna take and get his neck and just clean this up. You just come straight across here. And you obviously, I mean, depending on what the neckline is, you can square it up, you can round the corners. Totally, totally depends on the person what they like. I always round talons. So I thought this would be um, fun for you guys to see, just so it gives you an idea of how to cut with just scissors. Um, like I said, the, I was like just kind of roll that hair off. Anyway, like I said, it's it's nice to just have a pair of scissors, a comb, and there you go. I mean that will get you by until you can get back in the salon. But anyway, it's so fun to see you guys. Thank you for watching. Tell him thank you. You are awesome. He's so cute. Anyway, I feel very blessed to have him. But anyway, you guys have a good one. I hope you guys stay safe, healthy. Um, make sure I got my Germex in my salon. 
I hope this is enough. Yeah, did he say I was crazy? I think I am. But anyway, we have fun. It's all good. Um, you guys, thanks again. I appreciate it. Hope this helps. Good luck. Uh, if you have any questions or need my help, boysandgirlshairstyles.com, I can help you. Have a good day. See ya.